come to me according to your words according to your promises I can stand secure shine upon my heart the truth that sets me free according to your words Lord be done to me shine upon my heart the truth that sets me free according to your words Lord be done to me let your power flow in this place let your healing come in this place I call for signs and wonders in this place let your glory come in this place let your power flow in this place let your healing come in this place I call for signs and wonders in this place let your glory fall in this place in this place let your healing flow in this place I call for signs and wonders in this place let your healing come we are Emmanuel, my comforter, Emmanuel, my redeemer, Emmanuel, my provider, you want him a sign, a wonder, Emmanuel, my comforter, Emmanuel, my redeemer, Emmanuel, my provider, you want him a sign, a wonder. Emmanuel, my comforter. Emmanuel, my redeemer. Emmanuel, my provider. One in my side, I wonder. Emmanuel, my comforter. Emmanuel, my redeemer. Emmanuel, my provider. You want in my sign, I wonder. Ooh, he had better at home. He had better at home. He had better at home. On your mind. Thank you. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In Genesis 27, verse 6 and 7. Genesis 27, verse 6 and verse 7. And Rebecca spake unto Jacob as sons. 
saying, Behold, I heard thy father speak unto Esau, thy brother, saying, Bring me venison, and make me savory meat, that I may eat and bless thee before the day, before the Lord, bless thee before the Lord, before my death. Rebecca said, I heard thy father say. Now this was the foundation for the conflict that Jacob and Esau had. This was the foundation. The mother actually instigated this conflict. But this is it. I heard thy father say. So it was on the platform of privileged information. The whole life, the whole family was messed up. Brothers separated. Twin brothers. Do you know what it means for twin brothers to be at loggerheads? Because of privileged information. How does that connect to our prayer today? There are people who are contending and fighting us because of the privileged informations they have about us. Jesus prayed to Peter. Thou art Peter. Mark, Mark, Matthew 16, 18. Upon this rock I build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail. Satan had it. Hell had it. It was a privileged information. But in Matthew 26 from verse 69, Peter was so under attack and the Bible says that he denied Christ before a damn cell. He said, I don't do him. From the 69 to 75. Why? The privileged information that the forces of hell and the kingdoms of darkness heard about Peter. That Peter was going to become the head of the church. He was going to become the head of the disciples. He was going to be the rock. That was what the enemy was fighting. Most of the battles in your life is because of the privileged information that the enemy has gathered about you. I had thy father say based on that information she went into action some of the previous information are things that they have gone far to find out from diviners about your life this man who is he this brother who is he and they are taught things about you they go into action some of the privileged information are things that came out of your own mouth i'm planning that after school i'm going to do i'm planning to get married after marriage i'm going to travel abroad i'm planning some of the privileged information came from your mouth some of the privileged information came from your social media handles. Yourself, by yourself, with your hands, by yourself, on your phone. You can't rest. You post everything. You post everything. You are eating. You are posting your food. You post food. You post, you post room. You post. What is your problem? Post your work. Post what you do. Don't post your life. Even if you're in the entertainment world, post your work, sell your work. You're entering the car, you, say, I'm, you are doing a video. I mentioned the car. No, you are trekking. I mentioned the car. Okay, I've just gone to my car. I just entered my car right now and I'm driving. What is all that? What is all that? Everything. Every, you post everything. You buy a wristwatch, you post it. You buy a car, you post it. You are planning to buy a house. You have not bought it all. You are planning a new house on my mind. You post it. So there's no need for them to go to native doctors to attack you. They just know. So go to the handle. It's a new house that's coming. Oh yeah. Frustrating. You post everything. You are giving out too much information. You are giving out too much information. This world is wicked. Nobody is telling you to live in fear. But be unpredictable. Be unpredictable. You gotta be careful. I heard thy father say, Satan cannot see. Satan is not as powerful as you think. He's very structured. Satan is not cultured, he's structured. Look at what they say, Matthew chapter 2, verse 7 and 8. Herod said to, to the wise men, Go, check where he has been born, and bring me word. And bring me word. Matthew 2, 7 and 8. And he called them privately. Say, what time did they appear? You go. When you find him, bring me work. Bring me information. 
is on the platform of that information, I'm going to action to stop his manifestation. Many of us today, they are using privilege. Just imagine somebody had your boss trying to favor you. See, this man, he has done well. I think, I think I'll do something for him. He got that privilege information and he went into action to stop his manifestation. That's what we're going to pray. That anyone using privilege information about me against me to fight me, Father, scatter them. Amen. Amen. I had thy father say. I want to ask you a question. How come the very day that David was to be anointed as king, that was the day of four days that he was in the bush? Samuel said in 1 Samuel 16, verse 1. God said to Samuel, say, don't mourn over Saul. Go to the house of Jesse. I've gotten myself a king. Information has I've gone ahead. Even to the elders that was coming. That was the day he was not at home. God said to Abraham, he said, I see shall be strangers, you know, shall be, you know, in captivity in a strange land for 400 years. 400 years. God cannot lie. Genesis 15, 13. But as soon as the information was released, Satan began to fight it. Exodus chapter 12 and verse 40. The Bible said they were there 430 years. Satan fought it. God said 400, Satan fought it. And they were there for 430. Satan added 30 extra until Moses came up. I heard thy father say speak unto thy brother so what the enemy is holding against us what the enemy is using against us against our life satan is not as powerful as we think no he's using those privileged information so you start making mistakes look at the man like 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 uh, uh, uh joseph he announced his dream with his mouth Genesis 37. He announced his dream. First time he came, he said, I dreamed the dream. The brother said, okay, what was the dream? Okay, I saw that, I saw that, I saw that. They said, okay. He came back again. I've dreamed another dream. Now, this is stupidity. The first dream you dreamt, they couldn't interpret it. Why so going back to people that can't interpret your dream? You went back again. That's life. If people can't interpret a dream, they corrupt it. If they can't interpret it, they destroy it. I dreamed the dream. Came back again. I've dreamed another dream. He said, okay. From his mouth. Look at verse 9. And he dreamed yet another dream and told his brethren. He said, I've dreamed a dream more. Behold the sun, the moon, the star. The level star did make obeisance to me. Made obeisance to me. His father rebuked. And he told it to his father and to his brothers. Can you imagine? You told your brothers. They, they, they didn't interpret you. now went and told your father. That's why they sold him. Because they didn't sell that boy. The way I'm saying it. Hey, you have gone around your village. You told your brothers, they didn't interpret it. You want to tell your father. I'm sure you would have told your uncle. Your uncle will go and tell the king of the village. Whoever can help you hurts you. When people can't help you, they hurt you. You've got to be wise. Once you're a man of prayer, most of the things I teach or I say, you start learning them. I learned character. I learned thinking pattern in the place of prayer. They used that against him. Guess what they said? This guy, the dreamer is coming. In other words, the man who gives out too much information. You see, Joseph learned from it. He learned. That was why when he got to Egypt, he never told Pharaoh about his father. He never said anything. When his father now, when the father was set to come, that's when he approached Pharaoh. Pharaoh was shocked. You still have a father? He said, ha. <laughs> King, you understand? This is my mouth. I, have, I zip it. I don't talk anyhow anymore. I zip my mouth. What I went through because of this mouth. It was so bad that when he saw his brothers the first day, he didn't tell them it was Joseph. He kept quiet. This is the same parrot. Sorry, the ex parrot. The same guy that would not close his mouth before this time, he learned by experience. When he saw his brothers, he ignored them. He ignored them. He didn't say anything to them. He learned, say you, me, talk. No. I've suffered. This my mouth has put me in so much trouble. So much trouble, I'm not saying anything. He refused to say anything. Why? Because he knew that the battle of his life was because he was giving too much information. 
and there are privileged informations people have about you they were told that they're about to send you money they began to fight they fought physically they fought manipulatively before you know you started you started offending the person who wanted to help you somebody promised to help you they had a young man look at you say this relationship i'm taking to the next level i think i have to get married bam that's when they bring informations to you ah that person they start saying all kinds of lies and at the end of the day you believe that, that lie and begin to act towards it not knowing that there's a plan on ground which they were privileged to hear the informations I really wish somebody's following me today. And at the end of the day, we are blaming God for things that we cost for ourselves. We are blaming God for things that we cost for ourselves. When, when, when. <laughs> When Jonathan died and Saul died, you know what David said? Tell it not in Gath, publish it not in Ashkelon. Let not the yet is not let, let, let the armies, let not the doctors of the Philistines hear it and rejoice. Our the mighty fall. Let not the daughters, daughters. David knew what, what his problem was. His problem was not armies. His problem was the daughters of the Philistines. Let them not hear that a king has been removed. <laughs> not the not the armies. Let not the daughters hear this. Tell it not in God. Publish it not in the street of Askelon. Lest the daughters of the Philistines rejoice. Lest the daughters twice. Twice. David knew his problem. His problem was not army. He said, Let them not think it's possible to dethrone a king. Tell it not in God. Verse 21. Tell it not in God. Ye mountains of Gibwa, let there be no dew, neither let any rain. There be rain upon you, nor feed of offerings. For there the shield of the mighty is vilely cast away, the shield of Saul, as though he had not been anointed with oil. Anyone using privileged information about you to fight you, today I scatter their plan. Today I scatter their agenda. Today I scatter their agenda. Today I scatter their agenda. Daniel suddenly knew. Hey, he said, "I found the information. I found an information." The Bible says in Daniel chapter nine, verse two. I Daniel understood by books. He understood that the time for the people of God to be out of captivity had come. The seventy years of desolation in Jerusalem had come. Had come. He knew by book so the information was a privileged one and they began to pray the priest of Pesah knew that information that's what he used to keep the people perpetually bound he began to pray Daniel began to pray Daniel began to pray Daniel began to pray Daniel began to pray some came from your mouth like I said you told your friend who you thought was a friend to the colleague who you thought was a colleague. You told the relative who you thought was a relative. You told someone you felt was like a brother and sister to you. Some of them, they got them by divination. They went to divine to check what, what would be the outcome of your life. What will you turn out into becoming? They went to do all of that and, and, and found out what they, told, what they were told and all of that. And they began to fight and began to see how they can twat it how they can neutralize corrupt nullify water down so we're going to pray today and when you pray this prayer pray it with all your heart anyone using privileged information about me to fight me Oh Lord, scatter their intention. Amen. Frustrate their agenda. Amen. Scatter their intention. Amen. Frustrate their agenda. Amen. Scatter their intention. Amen. Frustrate their agenda. Amen. Anyone using privileged information about me to fight me, oh Lord, scatter.
scatter their intention. Amen. Frustrate their agenda. Amen. Scatter their intention. Amen. Frustrate their agenda. Amen. Scatter their intention. Amen. Frustrate their agenda. Amen. Anyone using privileged information about me to fight me, the whole oh Lord scatter their intention. Amen. Frustrate their agenda. Amen. Somebody say, My father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Anyone using privileged information about me to fight me. Oh Lord. Scatter their intention. Frustrate their agenda. Scatter their intention. Frustrate their agenda. Anyone using privileged information about me to fight me. Oh Lord. Scatter their intention. Frustrate their agenda. Anyone, 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 using privileged information about me, to fight me, oh Lord, scatter their intention, frustrate their agenda. Anyone, 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 using privileged information about me. Go fight me. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Scatter their intention. Frustrate their agenda. 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 Open your mouth and fire prayer. I'm not going to do that. 
In the name of Jesus. We are taking the second prayer still from that portion of scripture. The Bible says it was Rebecca. This is heartbreaking. The mother. We are going to pray a prayer. This is not heartless. This is practical. It's real. The mother was the one that instigated this whole battle. We will pray this prayer. Anyone in my family line behind my family battles, Lord, expose them by fire. <coughs> it was the mother, it was inside the family. The battles of the family was instigated by someone in the family. Anyone in my family line, that means Matana, Patana, relative, anyone in my family line behind my family battles. Oh Lord, expose them. Amen. Make sure you are not the one behind. Them. Make sure you are not the one behind the battles. Anyone in my family line behind my family battles. Oh Lord, expose them by fire. Amen. Somebody say, My father, my father. My, my father, father, my father. father. Shout it louder than that. My my father, father. My father. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I begin to pray. Anyone in my family land, my family battles, oh Lord, expose them by fire. Say, oh Lord, them by fire. In Matthew 10 36, say, Man's enemies are the members of his own house. Matthew 10 36. So we are praying that prayer, we are praying that prayer from a level, a well of revelation. It was Joseph's brothers that sold him. It was Judas that betrayed Christ. It was Cain that killed Abel. Anyone in my family line, behind my family battles, oh Lord, expose them by fire. Yeah, my, my father, my father, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I begin to pray. I I to begin to pray. Anyone in my family line. Family battle. Expose them by fire. 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 Look at that, 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 look at that
Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. Anyone using privileged information about you to fight you, I frustrate their intention and scatter the agenda. Amen. Anyone using privileged information about you to perpetually put you in a combat, engage you in a combat, I frustrate their intention, I scatter the agenda. Amen. There are 12 footballers. Nine of them have got serious injuries. And these injuries have become so spiritual because when they think they're getting well, and okay it comes up again one of them once a lion appears to you in your dream and you see that lion you wake up 
battles. All of you, those who are under with injuries, the Lord is healing you. Amen. I'm seeing three others who are frustrated because they're not being favored in their career. They are footballers. The Lord said to tell you he is visiting you now. Amen. Somebody by the name of Gilbert Danso. Gilbert Danso, you are a Ghanaian. I don't know what your wife has got to do with medicals. The Lord said to tell you that he's rewriting the history of your life. Amen. Benjamin, because that you pray for Benjamin. That he does not go to jail. That you pray for Benjamin so that Benjamin does not go to jail. And the curse on Benjamin's father is broken today. Amen. Preserve his father. Amen. Preserve his siblings and loved ones. Amen. I decree upon you. I receive it. Somebody has a child called Emmanuel. Emmanuel is under intense demonic attack of restlessness, autism. Today he is free. Amen. See somebody watching from Ethiopia. You lost your mom, you lost your sisters. You are losing people in quick successions, and they are happening strangely, strangely, strangely. Right now, let the killer be killed. Amen. Amen. And anyone also hearing the sound of my voice who has been experiently experiencing death in the family, right now let the, 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 the killer be killed. Amen. Let the killer be killed. Amen. I declare every anyone who has been killed by the killer, let the killer be killed. Amen. I declare anyone in your family that is beyond the family battles, Father, expose them by fire. Amen. 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 Amen. Place your left hand, you need a miracle. Mettez la main, là vous avez besoin de miracle. Wherever is hurting you. Et quel que soit votre problème. Place your left hand. Mettez votre main gauche. Stretch your right hand. Étendez votre main droite. The screen of your television. À votre télévision. Your mobile phone. À votre téléphone. iPad. À votre iPad. Laptops. À votre ordinateur. Desktops. Votre desktop. I command. Je commande. Mm -hmm. Be healed. So yeah. Yeah. Problem with the lungs. Le problème avec les poumons. God is just healing you. Now. Yeah. Yeah. There's a certain Cedric. Il y a quelqu'un qui s'appelle Cedric. You have a respiratory attack. Vous avez les problèmes respiratoires. God say you are free. Yeah. 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 A man holding his stomach. Un homme qui garde son estomac. Terrible pain. Il y a des douleurs terribles. You're literally crying. Et vous pleurez. Because you don't know if your stomach wants to burst. Et votre estomac veut exploser. Right now. Maintenant. Mm. Spirit of God. L'esprit de Dieu. Touch him. Touch him! 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 The crown of your head. De la tête. The, the soul of your feet. Be free! Amen. Be free. Amen. It's a lady. Somebody gave you a handbag. Quelqu'un vous a donné un sac. Just tested it. You didn't. You didn't. You vous avez testé. You didn't use it. Vous n'avez pas utilisé. You just hung it on your shoulder. You return it back. Vous avez retourné. You're just admiring it. Et vous avez juste admiré. That day, that part of your body. Vous êtes parti de votre corps. It's like paralysis. C'est comme si une paralysie. It's on fire. C'est un feu. Whatever was transferred to your body. Tout ce qui a été transféré dans votre corps. From that demonic deposit. De ce dépôt démoniaque. I decree. Je décrète. Dans les failles. Sur les failles. Annulé. Neutralisé. The name of Jesus. Dans les failles. I'm seeing people with the addiction of smoking and drinking. The genre de l'addiction. That yoke is breaking now. Oh, I'm seeing people with drug addiction. Yoke is breaking now. Oh, 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Le nom de Dieu. Amen. 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 I'd like you to know God has done something in your life. Amen. I'm going to read a few testimonies to you, and then I'll pray with you on this prayer request, and also pray with you for miracle money. Good morning, Papa. Stay on the line and hear the testimonies. Good morning, Papa. I noticed my eyes are always red a few months back. 
I went to the pharmacies. I was told it was a bacteria and nothing serious. I connected to wonders without number. After anointing myself with the oil Papa blessed, I just noticed my eyes became clear. Glory to Jesus. My time has come. Papa, I want to first apologize for come testifying late. Since I joined this family, my life has been awesome. I've been receiving miracle money all the time and all my and my love for God has increased. I cannot pray for a long time. Papa, I no longer have wet dreams again. And the spirit of masturbation has left me. A hoggy veron from Cameroon. Good morning, Papa. On Saturday, my mother saw a WhatsApp status status of a missing girl who happens to be the daughter of their neighbor. Since they were going on the search in the morning, my mother and I stopped praying for ourselves and connected on behalf to the marathon prayers and also to the testimony of the gentleman who escaped from the sea. Papa, the little girl has been found at the police station and now is safe. Indeed, our time has come. Sinalo Zaxo from Durban, South Africa. Good morning, Papa. I've been experiencing God's favor and grace since I joined wonders without number. My prayer life has improved and anytime I'm in need, I just declare my time has come and God sends me help. Secondly, I send prayer requests and God has answered them. Indeed, my time has come. Thank you, Jesus. Ada from Ghana. My name is Chinedum from Ireland. I've been waiting for miracle money since joining Wonders Without Number last July. The last week, my sister called me and gave me a huge sum of money in euros. Also, I've been trusting God for a nice accommodation and the Lord gave me an accommodation, not only one, but double. I give God all, glow, all the glory. Great, greater grace, greater grace upon your life, my Papa. I love you, sir. Chinedum from Ireland. Papa, since I started connecting to Wonders Without Number in August, my life has continuously changed for better. My salary is more than enough, but however, every end of the month, issues arise in my family, in my country, and I always have to send almost the whole salary. Sometimes I have to borrow to survive the month. And my account used to be empty just a day after payday. Papa testified that for the past two months, money remained in my account always. I clear my bills. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Salome from Seychelles. My name is Adi and me from the United States of America. I've been having this severe heart pain and chest pain and heart burn. While we were praying on the 5th of November, I felt a snap in my chest. And immediately, the pain and the heart burn left. As I'm writing this testimony, I don't feel any pain nor heart burn. My time has come. My name is King Lawrence from South, Af South Korea. The God of wonders without number has done me well. On 1st of November, 2021, I dropped a seed of $1,000 for the Tramogen Studio project. On the second, I bought a flight ticket to Nigeria. The traveling agent advised I visit, visit a nearby immigration office for clearance since my residence expired. Sir, firstly, I was given the sum of 9 million Kenya won as penalty for 9 years overstay and 10 years re-entry ban was given nine years nine million korean one and ten years re-entry ban he can't enter for ten years i was told to explain how i escaped deportation in 2016 from the same immigration office with a valid resident permit and how i got it sir i was honest with my explanation i proceeded to sign document the officer stopped and told me to wait After, <laughs> after about one hour, he gave me another form that my re-entry ban was reduced to five years. I was about to sign. He stopped me again and asked if I'd been vaccinated. After one hour, he called me to sign another document. To my great eh, to my greatest amazement, he said the nine million Korea won penalty was cancelled as if that was not enough he said my reentry ban is cancelled hey thank you jesus my time has come all he did was to sow a seed i don't want to emphasize seed i don't want to emphasize that part 
Penalty cancelled. 10 years ban cancelled. That was the end. Yes. 